This week I want to learn the coin roll. Probably not as smooth as CGI Jack Sparrow, but if I could get something similar to this guy in the movie Tombstone, I'd be pretty happy. I'm planning on learning a few coin illusions as well. But first, the coin roll, and I needed a coin, so I got my life savings out. I wasn't too sure the best size coin to use, but I had a feeling something bigger would feel easier to do, so I got this out. I've been collecting 50p and £2 coins for a few years, they're not mega rare or anything, just slightly more limited and they look cool. I cut my selection down to 3 and it was a hard decision, but in the end I went for this one, which after looking up, found out it sells for 10 grand. I decided to give it a clean here so I didn't get that metallic smell rubbing off in my hands, but recently I found out that it's not the coin that makes that smell, it's actually your body. Things didn't go too well in the beginning, I had no idea what I was doing, had zero technique and was constantly dropping the coin. So after a few more failed attempts in trying whatever this is, I decided to go in and get YouTube up. I got my phone out and had a look for some tutorials. The first video I came across seemed fairly popular and short, so I went for that one. While watching the tutorial, my practicing instantly got better and I was able to slowly roll the coin across my first and second finger. Then I got to the pinky and this is where I ran into some problems. Because the pinky's smaller, it's harder to raise up against the finger next to it and because of this, I struggled to control the coin when it reached the end. Eventually though, I managed to roll the coin across all three fingers and catch it at the end. Happy with that, I put the coin away for the day. On day 2, I took the coin to work to practice during my break, but again, like yesterday, I was struggling with the pinky and was still dropping it a good amount. At this point, I decided to change my hand position slightly so it was more parallel with my body, and with that small adjustment, I went on a crazy streak and got back to back coin rolls. On day 3, I wanted to work on smoothing it out and speeding it up. I also wanted to focus on bringing the coin back up to the starting position quicker, as that's something I've not really been focusing on. Some time passed and I was getting better and smoother rolls. I even got a few accidental high speed attempts that literally fell down my knuckles. With that complete, I now wanted to learn some illusions. The first one I came across on YouTube looked cool and pretty doable. And let me say this, I have no idea how magicians can perform these tricks in front of people, because without my specifically set up camera angle, this trick would look so bad. Anyway, I was pretty happy with how that one turned out, and I was on to the second one. Funny story for this one, I spent close to 30 minutes filming attempts, and in the end, after going through all the footage, the best one was the very first one I'd done on camera. This was definitely the hardest one I learned, and could probably improve it a lot, but I'm happy with how it turned out. This was the final trick I learned, and out of the three, it was probably the easiest to do, but in my opinion, this one looks the best. If you want to learn this trick or any of the previous ones, I've linked all the videos I've used in the description.